Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use a subquery in OLEDB command transformation with parameters inside data flow task in our SSIS package. So on the right side what we learn we will learn how to read data from a flat file by using flat file source and then we will learn how to write update statement with subquery in T-SQL and then we are going to learn how to use SQL statement with subquery in OLEDB command transformation. Number four, we are going to learn how to map the parameters involving subquery parameters to input columns in a uh, SSIS package. Also, we will learn how to test if OLEDB command transformation wor is working correctly and using the inputs uh, coming from those columns uh, that we are using uh, from the flat file. So let's uh, go to SSMS and take a look what we have. Here I have uh, two tables. So I'm going to drop these two tables uh, if they exist. Let's see if they exist. I'm just going to drop them. In this case uh, this was existing so it is dropped. Now we are creating two tables. One table is for customer Asia AS and one uh, table uh, for customer NA. So for North American customers. Uh, let's create these two tables. Uh, these are very simple tables. Uh, they have a customer ID, customer name, street address, city and state. That's all they have it. Then uh, we are going to insert uh, some records uh, in uh, customer underscore AS and uh, we are going to insert some record in uh, customer underscore NA. Let's run this one. Now we have inserted three records uh, in customer AS and two records in uh, customer NA. Run the statement now to see the records. So we can see that here we have a customer ID 1 and we have Amish Azad, that's the name. So this is kind of duplicate record here in the first table. And then what we have here in the second, we have the same record. And what we want to do, we want to update the record here in customer AS. And we will be reading the data from a flat file. And we will be using the ID to update that record. We will be updating the name in the customer AS table. But we will update the record only for that record for which test is the street address, the city and state exist in customer underscore NA. So that's our logic or that's our subquery we are going to write. So this is how we are going to write. We want to update we will be saying update let's uh, alias this one uh, customer as and we will say set uh, cas dot customer name equal to and here we will providing the parameter this will be mapped to the input uh, column that will read uh, from the file then uh, we will say where cas uh, sorry from let's put the from and this is the table which we want to use for the update here let's alias this one cas and uh, here we will say where cas dot customer id is equal to also we will reading the id from the file so this is hold on don't save this one let me open the real file so we will be updating the depending on the id of uh, customer ID whatever the provided in the file so that's what we are going to use uh, to update the value and uh, here the final thing we want to do and exists so here we'll say select one from dbo customer na and we call it uh, cna where the values coming from the file match with the values existing in the table. So we will say where street address CNA dot street address is equal to question mark and CNA dot city is equal to question mark and CNA dot state 
is equal to question mark so what we are doing here we are building our sub query this could be depending if we are directly updating the values uh, from in the customer as so we could have say that uh, where cna dot street address is equal to a csa dot street address but uh, we want to compare the values uh, coming from the file so that's how we will be using these values uh, and these parameters will be mapped to the input columns uh, coming from the file so that's how our query will look so you see that here uh, in the set uh, i'm using the value that will be also coming from the flat, uh, flat file i'm using uh, in the where clause that's also customer id will be coming from the flat file then i have a sub query and i have these question marks and values for these one will be coming from a flat file as well so we are using the sub query in our update statement and we are going to use the same statement in the oladb command transformation just one thing to remember the sequence does matter so this is our first parameter this is our second parameter and this is our third and this is fourth and the state is our final fifth parameter so just remember this one we will come back and we can take a look again let's uh, go to the ssdt sql server data tools uh, and create a new ssis package if you have bids uh, uh, you will be using ssis 2005 or 2008 you can use that one i'm using ssis 2014 uh, and i will be using ssdt sql server data tools uh. So create a new package. New package is being created. We can call this one. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna copy the uh, previous name and just change some part of that. So we'll say OLEDB command transformation subquery. And now we will bring the data flow task here and uh, inside the data flow task uh, we will use uh, the flat file source uh, to read the data from the flat file so we'll go to other sources we will bring the flat file source here double click here we'll bring click on new and we will be creating a connection uh, to our file and we browse to the file customer file is coming correct column names in the first data row that's correct and all other configuration i'm going to leave this one as it is and now check the columns so columns are coming correctly we have customer id customer name street address city and straight and my file is a comma delimiter so it's selected automatically you can change according to yours now go to advance in the customer id it is the showing string 50 or dtstr 50 and it need to be varchar uh, sorry it is watcher right now we need to convert this one to the integer so i'm going to select uh, four byte sign integer dt i4 and the rest of the columns are fine as they are watcher and the length uh, or the data width for each of them will be 50 so that's fine with me preview hit ok retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow if you are getting blank values and you want to convert them to null values you have to click here so in my case that's not really case but you can click here go to columns hit ok next part uh, we will be using uh, the oladb command transformation so bring the oladb command transformation here and then connect to the source double click here the very first thing we have to select the connection manager as it is oladb command transformation so that means we have to create the oladb connection manager so we can't really create from here we have to cancel this go to the connection managers pan right click and new oladb connection and then select the connection manager you have already existing or create a new one let's create a new one and we will be providing the sql server instance name or sql server name and then we have to provide the database in which our table is so we provide that one now we provide the database name that's test hit ok hit ok we are all good here we have to select the connection manager so we selected the connection manager go to the component properties and here we have to provide the sql statement so if you will just uh, copy and paste the statement what is going to happen if i copy here and just paste uh, here 
this is not going to work this will take only the first line as you have used entered in the ssms so if you have used enter key in the ssms to go to next line this is not going to work so hit here and then paste your query and now it will look fine hit ok go to the column mapping and here we have to do the mapping as you can see the, it it came as parameter 0 1 2 3 and 4 so that's how it comes when we use those question marks in our query now we have to map it the very first thing parameter 0 if you remember we wrote the query and it is the customer name second is customer ID so we can go back so customer name is first one customer ID is second one so when I say second and one it start with zero so that means first so parameter one is actually the second column in our query and then we have a street address city and state so we are going to go here street address city and state so that's how you will map your parameter uh, to the input uh, columns and just make sure you always go back to your query see the sequence and uh, then uh, go back to your uh, column mapping uh, editor and map them correctly hit ok now if we go back and see the value here in the customer AS what we have for ID 1 we have Amir Shahzad and in the file what we have we have one Amir so that's what it will be updated we can call, um, write different name if we want to write uh, maybe uh, Amraza let's say if we change this one but if you see that we can't really do it uh, let me see so what is happening here yeah we can do it because we are only comparing uh, ID so that's fine with our query we can change we are updating the name as long as ID exists so that's fine and also the second part is that these three columns match with the NA table so if we go back here and take a look in the file that does match so we have test street address Charlotte and North Carolina so that's fine now we go and run our SSIS package again let me show you in the these two tables what we see here we see Amir Shahzad here in two places this should be updated to M Raza uh, I, I really f don't feel like doing this one I want to change this one to different so let's do this Robert River okay so we will have different name instead of uh, just um, M Raza that will probably make more sense right now this will these two record uh, with ID 1 they should be changed to Robert and as we have uh, the record in the uh, customer NA so our inner query will be successful if we would not have the value it should not update any value so let's go back and run it so one record should be read and then uh, one value or one uh, actually two rows will be updated because we have the same ID so stop the package run your select query now and we can see that now ID 1 in customer AS is 1 and name is change from uh, Amir Shahzad to Robert River so that's how it will work so in a query is successful now if we go back everything let it everything as it is now ID is still there but if we change some value here in our file so instead of street address if I will put street address 1 now this will not update to anything let's ch let's change the name so now we call it Amish Azad why it should not update because now this part is not returning the subquery is not returning one it is not existing because this is street address uh, test street address and in the file we have test street address one so that's not gonna work so it will not update any record so let's go back run it now we'll see okay one row came but the SQL ran successfully but did it update any record so we can see that it did not update that record because the subquery 
did not uh, got evaluated true because of the values so value was uh, provided test street address was provided and it was not able to give us that value depending on um, the results so uh, that's why this query ran but didn't update anything now if I go back last time and if I will remove this one now we know that these these three columns uh, test street address Charlotte and the state that does exist in the subquery and also this should be updated and we have the ID as well so let's go back run it I do uh, test multiple times why because I want to show you different ways to test the SSIS package and make sure uh, you are doing the right thing because uh, maybe you wrote the logic you feel like oh it's working great but there are scenarios we need to test always to make sure it's working so you can see that the Robert River is updated back to the Amir Shahzad and because the inner query was successfully subquery was successful and it returned uh, it does exist with the values and then it got updated for ID 1 so that's how you will be using the update statements delete statements or any other statement that you need to use with sub queries in OLEDB command transformation thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video